let's talk about scientific variables. Any factor that can have an effect in an experiment is called variable. It helps to manipulate cause and effect in scientific experiments. All experiments have variables. The first one is independent variable. It is also known as manipulated variable. It can affect the dependent variable. Independent variable is the one that is changed in an experiment. It is what you do in the experiment. For a fair test, it is usually wise to have only one independent variable at a time. The second one is the dependent variable. Dependent variable can be affected by independent variable. It is also called the responding variable. The thing that we are observing or measuring in an experiment is the dependent variable. It's what will happen in the experiment. Look at the picture. What do you think is the dependent variable and independent variable? The third one is controlled variable. Things you don't change during the experiment or the things that you keep the same to ensure accuracy and reliability of the result. We can keep the experiment fair by keeping everything the same and changing just one thing. Let's look at an example. Does the amount of sunlight affect the speed of fish growth? To test this experiment, purchase small fish and place them in rooms that receive different amounts of sunlight. The length of the fish will be measured weekly for 6 months. List down all the things that can affect the fish. Look back at the question, what are we going to study here? Does the amount of sunlight affect the speed of fish growth? The independent variable is the amount of sunlight. And our dependent variable, or the responding variable, is the speed of fish growth. All other things are the controlled variables like the type of fish, type of food, size of bowl, pH of water. Because what we are trying to see is only the effect of just sunlight and not other components. Let's take a look of another experiment. You water some plants with four different types of water. Salt water, regular water, sugar water, and distilled water. After a two-week period, the height of a plant is measured. Now, it's your turn. Determine the dependent variable, independent variable, and controlled variable in this experiment. Write your answers on the comment section below.